with, uh, what's the first thing? Um, fantastic, okay. Um, so, so here we have a penis and um, a couple testicles. And this is all the skin, the scrotal skin there. Um, so this one, like here, they're still covering. So this is like the, um, the spermatic cord and then the testicles like within this. So here, this one's been cut open so we can see down in here. Um, this is the actual testicle here, and this kind of shiny layer that covers the testicle is called the tunica albuginea. And this is the one that, um, that is just lousy with pain receptors. So when a man gets like um, smacked or kicked or whatever in the testicles, it's right here. That and the females have the same covering on the ovary, and so some of you may get like ovulation pain. Um, it's because it's going through the tunica albuginea, which has yeah. Okay, so tunica albuginea here, and then you see this kind of um, fibrousy stuff right there. Mm -hmm. That's the next layer out, which is tunica vaginalis. It's kind of a funky name for sitting on the testicle. But. Okay, so then um, sitting like on the top of the, the testicle is a structure called the epididymis. And, um, and I think that the epididymis looks like a mullet. <laughs> it does look like Doesn't a mullet. Doesn't it? Yeah. Right? So here's the head, and then the body, and then the tail is down there. Party in the front. Party in the front and all business, or no, party in the back, all oh yeah. business up front. Yeah, right? yeah, that yep. thing, yep. yep. Um, so head, body, and tail of the epididymis. And then the epididymis is going to dump into this tube structure <coughs> in the um, spermatic cord called the vas deferens or ductus deferens or whatever it is that you want to call it, as long as it's one of those two. Then um, running along with the vas deferens and ductus deferens will be a testicular artery vein and nerve. <coughs> okay, so now um, we're going to have to move over here to do some of these others. Um, okay, so the uh, so the, the vas deferens is coming up through the spermatic cord and it's going to loop over the pubic bone here. Right? And then it's going to wrap around and it's going to meet up with this gland, which is called the seminal vesicle. So that's the ureter right there. Right? So here's bladder. So there's ureter right there. So the vas deferens is looping up and over the pubic bone through that inguinal canal, back behind the ureter, and it's going to meet up with this structure called the seminal vesicle. So if we turn it over this way, then the seminal vesicle and the, um, the vas deferens then dump into this gland here which is called the prostate gland. So they dump into the prostate gland through a duct called the um, ejaculatory duct. Right there. All of this is your urethra. Wait, where is the, all, what is urethra? So starting here and coming all the way down, all that's urethra. But this little guy right there is ejaculatory duct. All right. So here's just another one. Here's the um, here's the vas deferens coming up over the bladder, looping behind the ureter, meeting up with the seminal vesicle. There's the prostate gland again. Um, there's another little gland. Um, oh, thanks. That will be right um, just inferior to this um, the urogenital diaphragm. So here's the jaculatory duct, here's your urethra, prostate gland. There'll be a little gland right here, and there's a couple of models that you can see it on, just not this one. Um, and it's called the bulbourethral gland. And the bulbourethral gland is just a little gland that squirts like a like an alkaline fluid into the urethra to clean up any kind of acid that's left over from urine. The sperm don't like acid. What is it beneath, really? Like it would be like right there. Okay. Right there. And I know there's a model somewhere that you can actually see it. I just don't know. Oh, but you know what? I can show it to you on the female. Oh, really? Uh-huh. That's what, um, yeah, okay. So it's like right here, the female. Bubba, you're right, And then it like 
squirts in fluid right there. So that's what keeps the vagina lubricated. Will you show the other side one more time? Right there. So it's on the female here, and then it'll squirt fluid right in there. Okay. I don't know if you've ever seen this. Never mind. Um, so Okay, um, so that's all the glands, right? Mm -hmm. So just from different angles, seminal vesicle, prostate <coughs> gland, prostate gland there, prostate gland here, seminal vesicle, prostate gland. The prostate gland is like right next to the rectum, so that's why when um, men get a prostate exam, um, the doctor goes in up through the rectum because if it's enlarged here, they can feel if there's an enlargement which is just the best part of every man's day. <laughs> okay, sperm development. It's supposed to feel like that right there. That's how they teach us. Yeah, yeah. It shouldn't be, like, hard. Like, if it feels hard, then that means yeah. the prostate gland is, like... Bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It should feel like this, too? Mm -hmm. Like, if you squeeze it together, it's supposed to feel spongy mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. <coughs> um, okay, so for sperm development, part of the sperm, that's something easy. There's a couple of models where you can see actual sperm. Sperm development, you need to know <coughs> here. All right, so let's talk about the penis. Um, so here's the penis. There's another penis. Two different people. Um, this one happens to not be circumcised. <coughs> so this is the foreskin. Can we well, preppus we is the better name. I was going to say, can we call it foreskin? Um, you can, but preppus is better. Uh. Um, and then we've got the glands, okay, so then the head of the penis is called the glands. So this is the glands of the penis right there. G-L-A-N-S, not gland, duh, but glands. Um, the glands of the penis is made from corpus spongiosum, and then the, um, which we'll hear, we'll do it here. Okay, so here's another penis that's been cut. So there are three, like, little circles of erectile tissue. The two on top are made of corpus cavernosum tissue. And then the one on the bottom here, that's corpus spongiosum. So corpus cavernosum, there's like a, um, there are like these big arteries that run in the center of those that, um, that rush blood to the corpus cavernosum when needed, and that's what makes the, um, the penis tumescent. Um, the corpus spongiosum is also erectile tissue, but its function is to keep the uh, keep the urethra open, so that way when ejaculation occurs, the stuff can go out. Um, so corpus cavernosum on top, corpus spongiosum down here. So the urethra contains urine, right? And urine is yellow, yes? Right. Um, spongiosum, SpongeBob SquarePants is yellow. Right? So the corpus spongiosum is where the urethra runs through. So if you just think of urethra yellow, spongebob is yellow. So corpus spongiosum is where you're going to find the urethra. Okay. So then looking at this one, here's, um, and it's kind of an off-center cut, it's cut like, like this or something like that. So here's corpus cavernosum. And this is corpus spongiosum. So this hole right there is a the urethra. And if I actually stick this in here, that's the urethra there. And it's going to come out over here. Corpus cavernosum is the top one. And it's the one, there's two of them. And then the spongiosum is just inferior to them. Did you say that the um, glands has the corpus spongiosum? Yep, glands is made of corpus spongiosum. Okay. 